Yes, you are still listening at Gold FM 98.3 ang radio astig sa Tagum Kuyaw, ano? Good afternoon, Tagum City. Magandang hapon, Tagum City. Sa mga ginigiliw naming mga mag-aaral sa ikapit, ikapitong baitang, ito ang iyong para lang pang hipapawid sa special program in the arts. Nagagala kami na makasama kayo sa ating pag-aaral ngayong hapon na ito sa creative writing. Isang panibagong leksyon na naman ang matutunan natin sa malikhaing pagsusulat sa pamamagitan ng radyo. Ako si Ginoong Dan Arvin V. Almero, guru mula sa Special Program in the Arts ng La Filipina National High School. But before anything else, no, mga kaastig, I would like to acknowledge the different person behind this program. Kaniya to ang Salida Tileradio Escuela. Okay, my afternoon greetings to our Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Josephine L. Fadul. May manghapon diya, ma'am. And to our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Melanie T. Estacio. Maayong pagpaminaw diya, ma'am, sa tuang live history page o sa tuang uh, Gold FM 98.3, no? sa tuang station. And to our CID Chief, Dr. Christine C. Bagakay. And to our SGOD Chief, Dr. Josefina B. Palaka sa ato apong PSDS Matrix Supervisor Dr. Rostito G. Palo Sir, maayong pagpaminaw diha o sa ato ang Special Program in the Arts Division Coordinator Dr. Darwin F. Suyat sa our Division Partnership Focal Person Mr. Anwar E. Maadel maayong hapon diha sir and to all the Division Personnel Diri sa ito ang DepEd uh, Tagum City. Maayong-maayong hapon dira sa inyo ang tanan. And to our, di rin ato kalimtan ato ang school head na naay kamay nga bakal pero soft-hearted gaayo pag-abot sa mga, uh, pag mga decision-making. No? Di rin ato kalimtan si Dr. Jeffrey C. Villaro sa ito ang principal sa La Filipina National High School. And so our Brigada Escuela Partnership Focal, Ms. Cherry Ann T. Nicholas, i-adopt school program coordinator, Mrs. Joanne D. Lanciola. And so all the teachers of Tagum City Division, mayong hapon sa inyo, hadi ha. So all the teachers of La Filipina National High School, ano mga Mimio Boys, diyan, nahantog ka rin, aning kamot, o reso, aning ato ang assessment, no, quarterly assessment, mayang mayong hapon sa inyo, hatanan. And so all our stakeholders, Parents and students, to our general manager or owner of 98.3 Gold FM, Mr. Fernando Bigman Marquez. And to our station manager, Kuya Dong Ricky Jampon. Mayang hapon diya, Sir Ricky. And to our program director, DJ Kenneth Acevedo. Okay? Siguraduhin ninyong nasa isang lugar kayo ngayon na komportable at maayos na naririnig ang ating broadcast. Matanong ko lang kayo mga kastig, no? mga tana ko, nagkaon na ba mo? Mas maayo kung nagkaon mo because kung may laman ang inyuhang tiyan, uh, ito ang dahilan kung magiging alerto ang inyong pag-iisip at maayos na maunawaan ang ating aralin ngayong hapon na ito. Are you ready? Wanda na ba kayo? Atin nang simulan ang leksyon ng hapon na ito or atin nang simulan ang leksyon sa hapon na ito. But before anything else, no? I would like to introduce to you, mga kastig, our teacher, broadcaster, a very beautiful person, inside and out, no? Si Miss Eljean M. Saroka. Ma'am, mayong hapon niya, ma'am. Okay, mayong hapon po, kanimo, sir. Good afternoon, Tagum City, to our dear learners, parents, and listeners who are tuning in right now. Yes, you are correct. It is the time of the day with your teacher on air. I am Teacher L. Jean Saruka from La Filipina National High School, bringing you another exciting and engaging learning session in Creative Writing 7. Indeed, we are bridging gaps and reaching boundaries. I hope that you are ready so that you will be alert as you engage in the act of thinking and understanding our lesson for this afternoon. At this point, I would like to request you, dear learners, to get your handout for the lesson about Principles of Essay Writing. I'd like to repeat, our lesson for this afternoon is about the Principles of Essay Writing. Now, let us enjoy Creative Writing 7. Are you ready? Okay, before we start our new lesson, I will check your prior knowledge. Let us remember the elements of an essay. 
To remember the elements of an essay, students and listeners, I want you to listen carefully to the set of questions and identify the correct answer among the given choices. Learners, with the use of your listening skills, you are going to identify what element of an essay is asked in each question. I want you to take note of this sound. This means time is up. I am going to give you 10 seconds to identify what element of an essay is asked in each question. Let's start. Number one, what element of an essay gives the reader a clear idea of what the essay will cover and mentions some background information that is relevant to the topic? A. Introduction B. Body C. Conclusion Your time starts now. Okay, time's up. The letter of the correct answer is letter A. It's introduction. Number two. What element of an essay restates the thesis statement, the supporting points, and sums up the main points of the essay? A. Introduction B. Body C. Conclusion Your time starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is letter C. Conclusion. Number three. What element of an essay takes up the supporting deep the, the supporting points and adds sub points to convince the reader to accept your view? Is it A. Introduction, B. Body, C. Conclusion. Your time starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is letter B, body. Did you get a perfect score? I hope you were able to correctly answer all questions. Do not worry. You will have another chance later to answer another set of questions. You will surely answer it if you will listen well to our lesson this afternoon. We have three objectives for today's lesson. At the end of this learning session, you are expected to first, identify the principles of essay writing, second, demonstrate understanding of the principles of essay writing, and third, write a one-sentence description about the importance of the principles of essay writing, which lead us to our most essential learning competency, identify the elements and principles of essay. I believe that you will be able to achieve and apply all of the objectives for today's lesson. Learners, are you ready? Let us start. Let us now proceed to our lesson for today. We will learn about the principles of essay writing. We all do know that an essay is a written composition where you express a specific idea and then support it with facts, statement, analysis and explanation each student knows what it means to write an essay sometimes this is not an easy task and all of us have the same question which are the main principles that will help me in writing an essay before writing an essay it is essential to be aware of a couple of useful tips that are going to help you, dear learners, in coming up with a better output. Here are some of the useful tips or principles in essay writing. First, you have to choose a topic that is relevant to the content you are planning to write about. Students, you must ensure that you are comfortable with the topic that you choose. 
Do not settle for a topic that is beyond your writing capabilities. Second, you must carry out research. Research is an important part of writing an excellent essay. It takes a huge chunk of your time because you will have to find a quality content for your paper. To do research, go to the library and read through books and any other um, resources you can get your hands on. The important points that you will use in your essay. The main importance of research also is to ensure that you come up with content that can support uh, your essay with credible evidence. Do not use content that you cannot verify the source. Third one, you have to recognize that you have to organize the points in a manner that you can use in your writing. This step will help you write a great essay. Ensure that you include all your strong points in your plan. After doing this, write a rough draft that incorporates all of your points. Read through the draft and see if it makes sense. You can make necessary improvements on the draft. The fourth one is, the introduction should captivate the attention of your reader. This is done so that they may get the interest of reading the essay to the end. This may sound easy, but it is not. You should use the first paragraph to let the reader know what the essay is all about. Make sure to include your thesis statement in this part. That, uh, the statement should be both convincing and relevant to the topic. Let it motivate people to read the whole essay paragraph by paragraph. The fifth one. The body should carry the main arguments of an essay. You should develop the arguments in this part of the essay. Make sure to use keywords well to emphasize what you are writing on and support with the relevant evidence. Do not squeeze a lot of information in the body. Only include your strong arguments and evidence. Avoid long sentences and make sure that your essay flows from one paragraph to another, another paragraph. Uh, the sixth one. The conclusion should summarize the content of your essay. You state the ma major points that you have in the body. You should also remember to mention the thesis statement in the conclusion. After writing the conclusion, read through your paper twice or thrice. Proofreading ensures that there are no spelling mistakes or any grammatical errors. The seventh one, you have to be concise. You must avoid lengthy discussion. Make your points thoroughly but aim to be concise and focused. Eighth one, you have to be objective. Present the information objectively. Your conclusions should arise logically from the information presented and be based on the facts and evidence you have collected, rather than your own opinion or what you would like to happen. So students, uh, here are or these are some of the uh, principles of essay writing. I hope that you learned a lot from our discussion. Let us remember that writing is very important and is a powerful tool used in everyday life. It fosters our ability to explain and refine our ideas to others and to ourselves. It preserves our ideas and memories as well as it also allows us to understand our lives. Writing is also used to uh, store information, make permanent record, as well as for communication. On the other hand, essay writing allows you students to practice and develop skills that are valuable to you not only while you are a student but also when you graduate and have to write in a professional role. Reading your, uh, your, reading your essay will also allow your readers to assess the degree to which you have engaged with learning.
At this point, learners, let us proceed to the application. Let us now apply what you learned from the discussion of the lesson. Students, listen carefully. This is what you are going to do. You are going to write the word true if the statement or if the statement is correct and false if the statement is wrong. Learners, I want you to take note of this sound. Okay. This means times is up. I am only going to give you 10 seconds to write the word true if the statement is correct and false if the statement is wrong. Let us start. Number one, you must choose a topic that is relevant to the content you are planning to write about. Is it true or false? Your time starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is... Okay, it's true. Number two. There is no need to organize the points in a manner that you can use in your writing. Is it true or false? Your time starts now. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is false. Number three, the introduction should captivate the attention of the reader. Is it true or false? Your time starts now. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is true. Number four, you must be concise in writing an essay to avoid being uh, it being lengthy is it true or false your time starts now time's up the correct answer is true number five there is a need to use gra correct grammar, correct spelling, and correct punctuation in writing an essay. Is it true or false? Your time starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is true. Okay, at this point, let us evaluate what you have learned. I prepared an activity for you. This is now the time that you can comment or text your answers. For the listeners, you can text your answer at 0975-0946814. Again, I repeat, 0975-0946814. Listeners, do not forget to include your name. And for, uh, for our FB viewers, all you need to do is comment down your answers. Students, listen carefully. This is what you're going to do. You are going to write a one-sentence description about the importance of the principles of essay writing. Learners, I want you to, 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 to take note of this sound. This means time is up. Again, I will give you 10 seconds to write a one-sentence description about the importance of the principles of essay writing. Your time starts now.
Okay. Very good, students. Job well done. Okay, I was able to receive some text messages about your answer. So I have here a message from Miss Presno. She stated that the principles of essay writing are important because it guides her in writing an essay. Okay, indeed she is correct, right? So it is very important since it encourages you students to develop a formal and disciplined approach to writing that communicates clearly and with authority. It increases understanding and helps the process of learning because it encourages you to clarify and sort out ideas and information and analyze source material and exercise critical judgment. Now it seemed like you really learned from our discussion. For your assignment students, you have to write an essay about a topic of your own choosing. Make sure to be guided with the principles of essay writing. Learning is always fun and engaging. Today has been wonderful, everyone. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope that you learned from our lesson today. Also, I would like for you to make use of what you learned this afternoon in your daily lives. We would also like to extend our thanks to our supportive principal, Dr. Jeffrey C. Villarosa, our SPA coordinator, Dr. Raji Limsan, co-teachers from La Filipina National High School, and to our parents and students who are listening right now, thank you so much. Without you, this would not be made possible. Again, I am Teacher Elgin Saroka, your teacher broadcaster for this afternoon. Good day, everyone. Ayan! Natunghaya natin ng another uh, no, ano, topic for space, special program in the arts. So, maganda magandang hapon muli, mga bata, mga kaasting, mga listeners na to. Diyan, bisag, dili mga sudyante sa La Filipina High School na naminaw ka ron, no? Okay, hapon, no? Na maminaw mo ka ron, na, or nakapaminaw mo ka ron. Inyong napakinggan ang reaksyon okol sa mga alituntunin sa pagsulat ng sanaysay. Talaga naman, ang pagsusulat ng isang sanaysay ay isa sa mga pangunahing gawain ng mga estudyante dahil dito ay naipapahayag ng mga mag-aaral ang kanilang mga naiisip. Iba, no? Nalalahad din ang mga kuro-kuro, damdamin, kaisipan, saluubin, reaksyon at iba pang o iba pang mga manunulat hingil sa isang makabuluhan mahalaga at napapanahong paksa o isyo. Malaga rin na malaman ang mga alituntunin sa pagsusulat ng isang sanaysay sapagkat natutulungan nito ang isang mag-aral sa epektibong paglalahad ng matalinong opinyon, mga personal na suluubin o damdamin at nakikilala rin ng mambabasa ang manunulat dahil sa paraan ng pagsulat o or pagsulat nito. Okay? sa paggamit ng salita at sa lawak ng kalaman sa paksa. No, before we will uh, before we will end this program, no, I would like to give thanks to the RBI team of La Filipina National High School headed by Mr. Um, Harley Aglusolos. Sir, maayong hapon niya. Shout out niya, sir. Timbayan na to si Sir Harley Aglusolos. And to our um, special things, thanks to our ko ano kaning naning kamot yun know, na ma-shoot ni karong uh, hapuna ni ato ang uh, ato ang uh, radio based instruction si sir uh, timbayan ato si sir Philip Bohol sir may hapon niya sir paayong pagpaminaw and to ma'am Mildelin Lamparas ma'am maayong pagpaminaw diha ma'am timbayan ato diha ma'am ambak ambak daga may shout out shout out diha ma'am okay and shout out po nato di nato kalimtan ang grabe yung paningkamot aning ato ang ato ang studio no grabe jud kay kanindot No, sa nindot, sa gawas, sa sulod, kahinlo Walay lain, i-shoutout na to At timbaya na to si Sir Rolando P. Pama Sir, mayong hapon, mayong pagpaminaw niya And sa amuang, um, sa amuang nasag na guide Sa amuang ano, ni Ma'am L. Jane Saruka Diri Sa yes, ato ang uh, RBI Si Ma'am um, Rochelle P. Linueva Sa una, kay Polenyo man na siya karun ah, Kay yes, Linueva sir. na Miss Ah, uh, Mrs. 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 Sir. Rochelle P. Lenueva. Okay, ma'am, so ayong ma hapon diya, ma'am. Grabe kong kagwapa ni ma'am, no? O, oh, tinawad yun na, sir. Okay, naway marami kayong natutunan sa leksyon natin ngayong hapon. 
nagalak or nagagalak kami na kayo'y aming nakasama sa pagtalakay ng isang bagong leksyon sa Creative Writing 7 sa dito sa 98.3 Gold FM. Muli, ako si Ginong Dan Arvin V. Almero, guru mula sa Special Program in the Arts ng La Filipina National High School na sumahim papawid sa taus pusong nagpapasalat, nagpapasalamat sa aming punong guru si Ginoong Jeffrey C. Villarosa. Sir, maing hapon dia, sir. O sa muang space coordinator Ginoong Reggie P. Limsan. Sir, maing pagpaminaw dia. Mga kasamang guru sa La Filipina, mga kauban na mga t-shirt dia, no? Mayong hapon at sa inyo na aming masugid na tagapakinig sa Gold FM 98.3 dari sa tuang uh, ginatawag na Salida Teleradio. Maraming 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 salamat po sa pag, uh, pagpaminaw sa tua. Magkita-kita tayo muli sa ating susunod na leksyon. So this is the end of our program. We would like to um, give you a quote. Ang sa may quote na to Ma'am LJ. Learning is always fun. Yes, learning is always fun by Mom Eljane Saroka. Bye-bye everyone. Good afternoon. Goodbye everyone.